this Child Abuse Prevention Month. And though awareness is a sizable component, the focus is also education, coordination, and advocacy. From Nebraska Families Collaborative, Amy Huff. Good morning, Amy. Nice How are you? Nice to have you here. Yeah, you I love the pinwheel. Pinwheel. Yeah, I have pinwheel. Pinwheel. Mm -hmm. They're all kind of all over town, mm -hmm. aren't they? They're all over, t all over town. We officially plant them this weekend. Mm -hmm. However, they have went up in April because it is Child Abuse Prevention Month. Mm -hmm. We do this to raise awareness and bring attention to the month. And that's just it. People who drive by wonder what's yes. the story behind that field of pinwheels and hopefully they follow up. Mm -hmm. There is a run and walk associated with them. We'll get there. Yeah. But let's start with tomorrow as we look at this string of events planned locally. Yes. Um, the first event that we have planned is on um, tomorrow, mm -hmm. April um, 11th, and it's the proclamation. That proclamation is held at the Bob Carey Pedestrian Bridge, and we actually meet in the middle of the bridge, and the mayor um, of Omaha and of um, Iowa, excuse me, Council Bluffs, uh, they meet together and they proclaim um, Child Abuse Aware Awareness Month, and then we walk over to the Iowa side, and there's a big event with uh, face painting and balloons and fun events for the children, and that's how we kind of start off um, our events for the month. Yeah, this is something we're getting both sides of the river involved with. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. April 15th, right? Um, April 15th is um, our uh, next event, and that's a free training that we have. Mm -hmm. and is that just for professionals in no. the field? No, that is a free training, and that they can go um, onto our website, which mm -hmm. looks at us on um, the screen there, and um, learn more about that event and how they can register. That's not the only free training that we have. Um, it's just one of the many that mm -hmm. we have. Yeah, and then on April 16th, the next day, uh, April 16th, the next day, we actually <laughs> like, have our community like cafe. One right after the other. Yeah. Yes, yeah. the community cafe, and that is something that's ongoing. That's not just in April. That's something that is kind of new um, to our group, mm -hmm. um, but it is basically parent-led, but also um, helps reinforced by us as professionals, but that helps the parents in the community build strengths in um, their own communities mm -hmm. um, and voice out how they, they can make their community stronger to prevent child abuse. So it's about giving them tools. Yes, yeah. it's about giving them tools and in, like basically really enhancing the parents. Mm -hmm. I mentioned this, right? Uh -huh. We've got yes. uh, the pinwheels and that brings us to April 18th. Well, yes. I mean these all month long, but yeah. the, the pinwheel event is yeah. on the 18th. Um, we do have a, actually a 5K that we're doing this year. It's a run walk. Um, that is going to be hosted um, at the Peak Performance off of 78th um, in Cass on the Keystone Trail. Mm -hmm. And um, that anybody's welcome. Obviously, um, this is also an event that we're holding. Um, all proceeds that are made for this go to the local chapter to help um, us do more events, free trainings mm -hmm. in the community, the community cafes, which bring in um, parents in the communities to build the strengths in the communities. Yeah, and then we want to get to this last one. April 25th, this is... It, it's kind of an expo. Yes. Though. It kind of wraps up the month. Yes. And this actually isn't just hosted by us. This is actually um, hosted by the Omaha Police Department. So mm -hmm. I want to make that aware, but we're just part of it because while they're helping um, build safety in the community, that's what we do too by p helping um, learn how to prevent child abuse and give parents the tools they need to be a good parent. Mm -hmm. um, this is actually a very large event. Um, I always encourage people to come out. It's very fun for kids. They do a lot of things. Um, our booth, uh, we usually host a coloring activity. We have Beanie Babies, um, and then we also give out a lot of prevention tools for parents mm -hmm. to use. That's what this month is about. Prevention, yes. keeping kids healthy and safe and happy. MCAC, what do those four letters mean? And as a coalition, what's the mission? Um, it's the Metropolitan Child Advocacy Coalition. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's kind of mouthful. That's why we go by MCAC. And basically our mission is that we're advocating for children mm -hmm. and we're also um, helping build events through the community, strengthen parents, educate people on how yeah. to prevent child abuse and kind of just engage the community in and all working volunteers, as a whole. All volunteers, part yes. of that. Um, and it's needed because um, we see it in the news. But listen, if people have the tools and they understand resources yeah. are available, organizations exist, we're all on the ball, um, mm -hmm. we can do something about it. Yeah, Thank pay you. Pay attention to the pinwheels. Yeah, pay attention. Month, right? They'll be up all month and um, raise awareness and contact us if any questions or concerns. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks a lot, you very much. Yeah, nice yeah. to meet you.